So I originally already made this video, but uh, I looked fucking stupid in it. So I'm going to remake it and also make it a lot shorter so I could just post it without editing it. Um, you, most people know me as a Family Guy expert. Like, I have so much Family Guy shit. I have kid robot figures. I have a signed Family Guy book. I have every season on fucking DVD and found that as a life accomplishment. And as a Family Guy expert, I can confidently say they should stop making the show and release more DVDs. Yeah, that's my actual reason. That's my, that's what I believe. I feel like they should stop making the show and release it as a complete series box set so we can have a uncensored Family Guy episodes. The reason I believe that is because Family Guy is now at the point where they, where Family Guy is now at the point where it doesn't feel like an adult TV animated show. It now feels like, like a teen show. It feels like a show for teenagers. Like, it feels like a show that's perfect for making TikTok clips at this point, and there's, like, no substance whatsoever. Now, I do believe every season of Family Guy has its moments. The worst season, personally, to me is season 13, and that's just because all the episodes are boring. But Family Guy has so many flaws in it that, like, that it's starting to get worse and worse. And as someone who grew up with Family Guy me uh i feel like i should be more qualified to talk about the show i've been watching it since 2006 since i was one fucking year old i've been watching family guy because it was entertaining and i yeah i stuck with the show i bought every dvd i've watched all the dvds so i've definitely seen all the uncensored episodes uh watched the pra practically two movies a family guy uh, untold story and then there was fewer and i also you know watched a lot of family guy on tv itself uh made it all the way up until the newest season that's currently out which i haven't even bothered started i never even started watching it because i already know i'm not gonna like it and honestly the show like a lot of people believe the same mentality with spongebob like the first four seasons were the good ones and then the show gets worse and worse and worse Honestly, I don't believe that. And a lot of people agree with me on that, too. Um, my fall down point where Family Guy became shit was, um, well, I never really had a fall down point. But for most people, it was after uh, season 10, which I, I, can, I can believe. I can believe. I understand. Uh, I, I did notice a, a lot decrease of Family Guy around the season 13 part. Because, like, that's when they started going for, like, the cheaper animation style. Everything felt cheaper. It felt boring. It, like, it wasn't really the show that I liked that I did back then. But, like, I still clearly like it. It's one of my favorite shows of all time. And unlike South Park, like, I'm not skipping entire fucking seasons because they're shit. Uh, South Park, I can say, a uh, season fucking... The, the internet troll shit... Like, where Gerald, uh, Kyle's dad, is an internet troll. Boring fucking season of, fan of uh, South Park. It was the most boring. And I never had a moment with that with Family Guy. Even season 21, which I thought was, eh. You know? Like, even that was still pretty decent. Because it had its really, like, hilarious moments. Like, I think there was a moment where Stewie and Brian were talking about... Uh, Seth MacFarlane book that came out. Not came out, but a Seth MacFarlane book where a signed copy costs less than a brand new copy, which was fucking funny to me. And also, uh, another scene in a different episode where Peter, where Peter just got done eating out Babs, and the, and Peter and Lois are driving home, and Carter calls. And Carter calls, and then Babs calls, and then, you know, wanting to try and forget everything that happened. Peter turns on the radio, and Weird Al's Eat It starts playing. Like, I thought that was fucking hilarious as well. So, like, Family Guy has its moments, even in the seasons that I'm not really that much of a fan of. But there, there are some things that annoy me. Um, I heard this from my uncle, so I don't really know how true it is. Family Guy removed a character... 
without killing them off, that being Herbert. Yeah, when you start removing characters, that's when you just stop making the fucking show at that point. Like, and apparently the reason they removed Herbert was because he was offensive. What the fuck? What, he was offensive to pedophiles? Like, that's stupid. That's stupid. I understand that it might be, like, offensive to the people who were victim. But, motherfucker, the people who were victim to them, to pedophiles, are not fucking watching Family Guy. Um, let's be for real. They probably think Family Guy's a stupid fucking show. So they probably they probably don't even know that character exists. Let's be for real. And like, so like you're like I I haven't even saw like Family Guy get into any controversy with that character. Let's being for real. Not once have I ever seen anyone complain about Herbert's existence in Family Guy. It's kind of like a poo in Simpsons. Like I don't I've never seen anyone complain about their existence. So, like, why would you remove them? And, like, even if there is controversy with those characters, who cares? You know, they're pretty much a staple with the show at the point. They are major side characters. Like, Herbert was appearing way more than Seamus in some of the episodes. And Apu in The Simpsons, you know, is a fucking store clerk. Like, he's a really well-known character. And, like, if you're going to remove a character, at least make them have, like, a major, like... Like, like, make it actually major. Like, if you're going to remove them. I I, I don't know if Simpsons did. I, I feel like I've seen, like, a poo leaving in The Simpsons, but I'm not sure what that is. And also, I've only seen, like, the first five seasons of Simpsons anyway. But, uh, yeah. Like, I feel, I feel like Simpsons would have actually removed a poo in a good manner, like, by making him leave. Like, that's what South Park did. Like, South Park, when they removed a major character, Chef... Because, you know, the voice actor died. Uh, they made Chef actually, like, die in the show. And for, like, his sound clips, they used, like, previous show sound clips. Like, uh, archived sound clips. That's what that's what that term's called. So, like... Like, I feel like Family Guy... Because, like, I... Like, when my uncle mentioned that, I was like... He, like, I, I realized, holy shit, yeah, no, he's right. I've not seen Herbert in a while. And, like... I feel like Family Guy should have actually, like, made him leave. Like, I don't know, maybe he finally gets arrested or something, you know. Or, I don't know, he just leaves or he dies or something, you know. Like, make it, ha make it have a major event. Like, don't just remove the character. If you just remove the character, end the fucking show. Because there's no reason the show should even continue. If you're removing characters. And S South Park... South Park added a PC principal in the strong woman character. Fuck them. They ruined the goddamn show. Season Everything after season 20 of South Park sucks ass anyway. But with fucking Family Guy. Family Guy just removed a character. A major side character for no fucking reason. Because, oh, it was offensive to fucking nobody. So there was no reason to remove him in the first place. No one was offended. There was no cancel family guy because of this character to bullshit. I think everyone who tries to cancel family guy like gets kicked in the dirt for being a moron anyway. And also, if they're going to treat Herbert like that, then they should also be like kicking off Quagmire as well because he's because like pe I've seen more people complain about Quagmire than fucking Herbert. <laughs> I've I've seen people complain about Quagmire more than any other character of Family Guy. Let's be for let's be honest. So like the fact that like Herbert gets removed and Quagmire stays, they actually fucked up Quagmire. I'm gonna be for real. Like they made him not even a sex addict anymore, and like that that's not his character. <laughs> that's not his character. Like, I do like the fact that Quagmire is more of, like, like a smart character. Like, he, he feels more like an actual character and not just a sex fiend, you know? And I, I, I kind of like that. I kind of like how Quagmire is more of a character. The problem is, like, that's not, like, Quagmire's now boring. He's, he's not entertaining to watch anymore. 
And of course, there's also Joe, which is now just became a complete dumbass. But I kind of I kind of like what they did with Joe. I think that's really fun. I think I think what they did to Joe was kind of funny. Peter Peter Peter's fucking Peter Griffin. Uh, Cleveland they replaced they replaced the voice actor of Cleveland. Um, and I don't really remember how that event happened, but I think it was because like uh, the original voice actor of Cleveland just like left or some shit. And he didn't want to voice the character anymore. Kind of like uh, Charles Martinet. Like, he retired and they got someone else to do it. And, you know, the new voice actor of Cleveland, I'm not complaining. He does a pretty decent job, let's be for real. But, like, all the other shit that Family Guy's been doing. And, of course, there's also, like, episodes that I don't like. Sorry, I fucking cannot stick with one topic for too long. Um, there's one episode of Family Guy that I fucking hate. And that's story of Brenda Q, the episode where... That episode's not funny whatsoever. ever. That episode is the episode where uh, Quagmire's sister comes into town with her abusive boyfriend. Fuck that episode. It was nothing funny. Barely any good cutaway gags in that episode. Literally the first scene of that fucking episode is dog shit. The first scene of that episode is Peter and Joe were on a boat and wondering where Quagmire was. I think they were going to go fishing or something. They go to Quagmire's house. Quagmire killed himself watching clown porn. And, you know, they bring him to the hospital. We see uh, Brenda Quagmire. She sings a song, which is kind of a depressing song, even though there, it's a joke. It's a joke song. It's still depressing. It's not a good... It's not, it's not a good episode. Let's be for real. Like, the entire plot of that episode is, oh, Quagmire's sister has an abusive boyfriend. Like, that's not fucking funny. That makes people want to skip the episode. Like, that should be the shit, that should be the shit, like, that people should be fucking complaining about with Family Guy, not the fucking Herbert shit. Like, Herbert was a good character. Like, he was a pretty decently well-made character, and they just removed him for no reason. They didn't kill him off, they didn't make him leave, he never got arrested, he just disappeared and never came back. Like, I think that's, that's stupid, that they, they shouldn't have done that. But like, but like modern episode, modern Family Guy isn't bad. It's just kind of boring. Like, and that's coming from me, Family Guy expert. I can sit down. I can make my ass sit down and watch every Family Guy episode if I really wanted to. But like the new episodes are boring. I haven't even bothered watching the newest Family Guy season. I've seen the first episode on the release day of it. That's it. But I cannot. I cannot sit down and watch Family Guy. It's, like, I cannot get myself to sit down and watch the newest season. Like, I'm currently rewatching South Park. Like, that's how much I want to watch the new fucking season of Family Guy. And with South Park, I skipped the entirety of season 11. There was, like, one good episode on there. Like, that's how much I don't like South Park. Because that fucking show's boring as hell. Like, there's some episodes that'll get you... And then it'll hit you with the 400 boring-ass episodes in a row. Fan at least Family Guy doesn't do that. But, man, I just... I can't get myself to fucking watch it. I would literally be rather... I would literally rather do anything else than watch the newest Family Guy shit. But still, like, I don't think it's a bad show. I just think, like... The, the show is starting to get a, lot, a little boring. Like, it's starting to get a little repetitive. Like, the like these episodes, there there's the Doug character. Fuck Doug. I don't know who the hell he was. He just appeared in one episode, and now he's like a major fucking character. He's Stewie's arch nemesis or whatever the fuck. Doug was never a character. This is I'm the Family Guy expert. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Doug's first appearance is he comes rolling in, says some dumb bullshit to Stewie, then rolls out. And we're just expected to know him. I have seen every episode of Family Guy at least 10 times. And I still barely know who the fuck he is. Like, he was such a dumb character, I don't even know why they added him. There was no reason he should have existed in the first place. Literally, literally he came out of nowhere. He came out of nowhere. He just appeared. I think there was an episode where Doug talked to Herbert. I think that was like 
season uh, season eighteen episode actually. That means they removed Herbert fairly like later in the show. Holy shit! But yeah, but yeah, no, I think Herbert is still in the show, and I think there's just like fake news coming around with him. But still, um, like I I feel like they should just end the show. They're adding random ass characters with um. Peter's boss dying because the voice actor's dead. Like, they had an entire thing, and they actually had a setup for who the, who his new bosses were, uh, Bert and the, the other one. I don't know her name. Like, that actually had a setup. Doug just spawned. He just came out of nowhere. He's like, hey, Stewie. And then tell, tells him some dumb bullshit. Oh, that's how angels are made. Bye-bye. Like, who is this fucking douchebag that they just added to the show? There was no reason Doug should have existed. Um, if they did remove Herbert and he literally isn't in anything anymore, then they should just flat out just end the show and release a complete series box set. Because you can't have sev- cause you can't have literally episodes where the main joke where like the main joke of some of those episodes was, hey, cuss word, it's funny. And have it censored and not have a DVD version of it so we can watch it uncensored. Even if they're not going to make DVDs, make there have a have a place where we can watch Uncensored Family Guy. Like, if like if you buy the show on Amazon Prime, you should have the uncensored version of Family Guy. You know, like there should be no reason the DVDs is the only place to watch Uncensored Family Guy. It's 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 at the point where pirating it's hard to pirate Uncensored Family Guy. Like there will be some times in a video, um, that. That uh, fam- that that meme video I made, like saying the origins of Family Guy memes, I could not find any clips of the uh, Pina the horses here. You know, I could not find a single clip of the DVD version of that scene, because in the DVD version of that scene, um, there was way more to it. Like Pina the horses here. Oh yeah, it's so creepy the way it just stares like that. Why does it do something? He's retarded, Lois. You know, you don't understand. You're married to a retarded man. Huh? You're married to a retarded man. Like, that Like that joke was cut for the TV version of the episode. You cannot find a single clip of that one, of that scene. The only clip you will find of it is my upload of the clip to the Reuploads channel. Like, it's, like... I feel like if there was more accessibility to the uncensored family guy, then more people like would watch it. There would be more clips, you know, pirating sites probably wouldn't have it because for some reason, most pirating sites use the TV versions of episodes, which I think is fucking stupid. But uh, yeah, so that's my, that's my personal opinion with newer family guy and the show. It should, it should never get to a point where you're removing characters or adding, you know, fucking dumb characters no one's gonna like like Doug no one gives a shit about Doug and if they did remove Herbert end the fucking show just just release the other shit on DVD or make Uncensored Family Guy more publicly available there should be no reason the DVDs are the only way to watch it yeah I have a lot of personal grabs with Family Guy but I could still say it's one of my favorite shows and if you actually did like grow up with Family Guy you know you pretty much know the show, and you're still a fan of it to this day. The modern episodes, like, not the modern episodes, but the newer episodes, the the season 20s, uh, the season 20 episodes, they're alright. They're not bad. They're just, uh, they're alright. Like, they don't compare, they don't compare to, like, the previous episodes. They, they remove, they, they stop doing cutaway gags. Like, for some of the episodes, like, they'll have, like, setups for cutaway gags, but use it as an actual plot. There was an episode where, um, where Stewie clearly set it, set up something for a cutaway gag. Like, it wasn't a, like, it was a, it was a cutaway gag that was set up with a, it's like that time, you know, kind of like that, but he didn't do it exactly like that, and he, like, clearly set up a cutaway gag like like the time like whenever whenever anyone opens a food can you come running or something on the lines of that and um 
they didn't they didn't have a cutaway gag for that but they actually used it as a part of the episode where like stewie's in like a limo or a car or some shit and he opens up a can of dog food and brian comes running gets into the car you know that was that was how they used the joke like they they stopped they pretty much stopped using cutaway gags and and used them as like either just like a short little joke as a short little laugh or to actually like use it for an episode but yeah besides that the show's fine i i wish they would stop making episodes at this point like the the show is starting to become boring and stupid <laughs> honestly and it's it's really sad because like i love this show to death and i will eventually get around to watching the new season but where where, where it's going it's not that good anymore it really isn't it does not hold up to like man i don't know there's not like one season that i think is amazing i think all seasons have, have flaws even season one i think season one was kind of bad but like it just doesn't compare to like like a it doesn't compare to the early the earlier episodes like season 11 was pretty decent. I really enjoyed season 11. I thought it was pretty good. I don't know if that one was the one with Brenda Q. If it, if it was, then season 10. <laughs> but, like... Like... like It doesn't compare to those, but, like, it still has its charm. And, you know, there'll still be jokes that will make me laugh. But, where it stands... The show's not that good anymore. And, honestly, they should just stop making it at this point. Because... I, even I can tell the show is starting to fall off more and more and more. Like, the show is starting to become worse and worse and worse. I can tell. Like, even I'm starting to get bored and dreading watching the new episodes. Because I already know I'm not going to like them all that much. Like, if I didn't like season 21 because it was boring, then season 22 is just going to be worse. Honestly. So... Like, they should just stop making the show and just release, like, a DVD or something. Release a complete series DVD, have all the uncensored episodes, and, you know, make Uncensored Family Guy more widely available so people can actually watch it. But, you know, it's not... It's not awful. It's not awful. It's at least worth... It, like, the newer seasons, at least what I've seen of Season 22, the first episode of Season 22, Season 21, and Season 20, like, they're worth a watch. They're at least worth a watch. But, as it stands, the show is clearly getting worse and worse. And it, it, it feels like the show is now appealing to more of a teen audience than it was an adult audience. Because their jokes, their jokes feel safer. Their jokes are starting to feel a lot more safer than they did. Like, it's, it's, it's kind of sad. It's kind of sad what happened to Family Guy. But... But honestly, I don't, I don't care. It's still funny. It still makes me laugh. But it's just not at the quality that it, that it used to be at. I hope you enjoy my video of Family Guy experts' opinion on Family Guy as a show. Maybe maybe new Family Guy. I don't know. But yeah, that's my that's my opinion on Family Guy. It's it's all right.